can you talk a little bit more about uh, the new technologies that are being used um, at home and also in the clinic setting um, for both detecting and diagnosing sleep apnea? I'll start by briefly talking about the standard way, and then we can talk about sort of the newer ways that are being used to more efficiently uh, make the diagnosis of obstructive sleep apnea. So traditionally, the gold standard has really been in laboratory polysomnography or attended polysomnography. So that is conducted with a technologist who is present, who connects the patient to a variety of different physiologic sort of channels. And we monitor uh, directly, we can monitor sleep, the brain waves via the electroencephalography, electrooculography, um, electromyography. So EMG, EOG, EEG helps us to distinguish the different stages. And then there's a variety of channels that are used to monitor breathing patterns. So there's effort belts around the chest, the abdomen. Um, there's a nasal flow sensor under the nose, oral nasal flow. And then also um, a, an oximetry device to monitor oxygen levels. Uh, and then we also monitor EMG on the, on the limbs as well to look for limb movements. Um, so there's a, a, and then we oftentimes do video monitoring in the lab as well to look for any abnormal sleep related behaviors. Um, now, since we've recognized that obstructive sleep apnea is so widely prevalent and underdiagnosed, there have now been clinical care paths that have been developed to really try to expedite that diagnosis of sleep apnea. And one of the ways that can help accomplish that is by the use of these portable um, home sleep apnea testing devices. So um, here in our program at the Cleveland Clinic, this is becoming an increasingly um, uh, used uh, way to diagnose obstructive sleep apnea. So these devices in the home setting are a, le a lot less involved than the ones in the laboratory in terms of they're much more abbreviated. We don't measure all of the physiologic parameters that we typically do in the in-lab study. Uh, so we monitor typically breathing patterns, so the belts around the chest and the abdomen, oximetry, the oronasal flow to see, you know, for breathing patterns. And we can see position, so whether they're, you know, it's positional obstructive sleep apnea is typically worse in the back than other uh, positions, for example. Um, and so we take that information and we can get sort of a surrogate of the, tr of the traditional measures that we use to diagnose obstructive sleep apnea. So we typically count the number of times folks stop breathing uh, per hour of, of sleep so the number of apneas, meaning stopping breathing for 10 seconds or longer, which is reflective of complete upper airway collapse. And we also consider hypopneas, which are partial upper airway collapse associated with an oxygen lowering or an arousal from sleep. And you can imagine in the laboratory, we're directly measuring sleep. So we can calculate the apneas plus the hypopneas and divide it by the sleep time. In the home setting, we typically do not monitor, directly monitor sleep. We call it home sleep apnea testing, but we're really not monitoring sleep, but we can detect the apneas and hypopneas. So we take the apneas plus the hypopneas and we divide it by the recording time, not the sleep time. And so we typically tend to underestimate the severity of obstructive sleep apnea with our home sleep apnea testing because we're, not, again, not directly monitoring sleep. But the notion and idea is that if, if obstructive sleep apnea really is, is a very high pretest probability and you're pretty certain the patient has it, then the home testing will suffice in order for you to really realize that diagnosis of obstructive sleep apnea. With the big caveat though, if, 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 the, if the data really do not support obstructive sleep apnea, but we, clinically believe that our patient has obstructive sleep apnea, then what we recommend is pursuing the in-laboratory diagnostic testing to get a better picture of things. 